All right, today we're going to remove old hand lettering, a 1980s technique. We're going to use an area masked off with plastics and duct tape and our favorite kitchen cleaner, Easy Off Oven Cleaner. What this will do, it's a very caustic lye that will start to eat at the lettering. It'll finally, after a certain period of time, bubble these letters off. We'll scrape them off until it's clean and then quickly neutralize it with soap to be able to go ahead and then clean it into our lettering. All right, here we go with phase one. Safety is an issue. This stuff will permanently blind you, so we have safety glasses, gloves, and long sleeves. Of oh, two out of three, back. We're gonna go ahead, after shaking the can for some time, we're going to quickly coat this area with the uh, oven cleaner. Careful to just keep it in the area that's going to be affected. You can smell it already, so now, we wait. All right, it's only been on for a minute or two, but it's very important to test frequently. Don't let it go too far. So we're gonna get in here, we're gonna check it. Okay, process is starting. A Little bit of orange, but it's not done. So we're going to quickly hit it with a little more, cover that area back up, let it go another minute. We check it about every minute or so until it starts to come off. When it does, it's all gonna come off. We gotta move quickly. All right, it's been another minute. Here we are, we're gonna check again. Rule of thumb, it's always better to do it too early than to be too late. You can always put more back on. So let's check it. Okay, as you can see, it's starting. So I'm gonna commit, it's a little early, but look what it's doing, it is coming off. It's better to be too early. If we were too late, you'd see burgundy coming off and shiny aluminum underneath. There's still some residue afterwards. We can put a little bit more back on, but we're, we're going to go ahead and start to commit here. Look at that. It's about done that fast. Ooh, look at that. Just look at that. Okay, we're putting the excess down into the tape so it's not working so much on the paint. We want to scrape as much with the squeegee when it's soft so we're not relying on it to eat everything. Soften it, we'll take it off. There's a real thick spot in the paint right there. That's the splat right there. Okay, we're going to go just another little bit. Clean it up and then we're going to do it. I'm going to give it one fast shot because we can't take those spots off. It's got to be clean. We'll let that eat for just another second or two. In the meantime, I'm going to try to get this stuff off the paint at the bottom. It's really concentrated there. We don't want it to be heavy there. This stuff is really it's heavy. Make your throat sting. Give it another minute. Don't let my wife see this. All right, respirators probably would be best. So here we go. Okay, that spot's coming off. That spot's coming off. There's the heavy spot. We're close on that. Look at that. Just look at that. Like magic. It's almost all gone that quick. A few small spots yet. We're going to work at those with the squeegee. See if we can get the squeegee to rub them off. The cleaner's still working. But all we're seeing is orange right now. We're not seeing any burgundy. We see burgundy, we're in trouble. It's too late. It's close. The thicker part of the hand lettering is what we're dealing with now, where the artist had the brush loaded, stuck it up there. A few little spots. Okay, that's about 99%. We're gonna deal with that last little bit quickly. One more shot. A little more patience. Jump on that just probably a little too early, but what's the rule? It's better to be too early than too late. We're gonna give it another one minute. We'll be right back. We're back. It looks like it's coming up. Nothing there. Clear. Coming down. Spots there, that's gone. We've got the one big spot here, it's coming up now. And it's a bugger. Everything.
everything else is gone. Look at that. One spot. Let's neutralize that. So it's small Let's neutralize it real quick. Let's wipe it off and then hit it with soap. That keeps all the cleaner off the paint for the most part. Okay, please that sit. We're going to go ahead and see if we can work on this little piece. And it might be best just to hit that with a, a little blade here. <coughs> so as you can see, this is the basic process in removing. Easy off oven cleaner, a lot of caution. Be careful, make sure you're just taking the paint off. All right, we've got to isolate down to that one little brush stroke that was super heavy. We neutralized everywhere else, but we still got to be quick. We're going to come in with a plastic razor, see if we can do a little scraping after another minute. And look at that. Just about all gone. Keeping in mind, we softened the orange, but we also softened the burgundy truck paint. So we've got to still be really careful. This is just a little sharper squeegee we're working with. We got her down to just a little bitty tiny piece, which we'll continue just here in a moment to go ahead and scrape. After we get that off, and we're there, I think we'll just get it right now. It's gone. So we've completed the process. Next thing we do, we can safely, safely clean up. I'm going to set tools down. We're going to get the fingers clean. We're going to set everything back. The thing we got to do now is carefully get this product into the trash can and into your dumpster. So we're going to take this, we're going to leave the bottom where it's at, we're going to bring everything down, let's neutralize it, we call it forever, we neutralize it. Now that's also neutralized the adhesive on the duct tape as well. Yep. So now we can come up here, remove the tape, come straight down, we still also have some underneath here, so we're going to wipe very quickly on this. Let's get that neutralized. A little bit ran under. Get that wipe back. Take this into the trash. Quickly dispose of it. And there you have it. We have removed hand-painted lettering off of the truck door. Thanks for watching.